Practicing to get better at anything we love is motivation enough to find a sense of success in ourselves. Practicing to get better at what we love is motivation enough to find a sense of success within ourselves. Know yourself better by understanding what you can and cannot accomplish. In this video, I'm speaking on practicing beyond your craft so you can better know thyself. Do you have what it takes to make the right left to you? If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel for videos to educate, entertain, and enlighten. Your craft in any field is important, but so is your job. Because what you do is not your job. Your job and what you should be practicing is networking, marketing, and practicing. Practicing what? Well, how to manage your time, money, and people. What for? To find solutions to problems and also break down the wall building of your mind and learning to strengthen your current talents and learn new talents within your field of interest and outside that interest so you can better increase and enhance your value. Part of your job is to organize your money into security, growth, and dreams so you can protect yourself, invest in yourself, and reward yourself. And in doing so, you also should be practicing how the eight assets of life can benefit you while investing into them to enhance your wealth growth. And when everything is said and done, practice treating your life like a business. Because that's your job. You should know the business you are interested in. Practice in this case means research, research, research. Because the truth of the matter is everybody loves what they do as a passion. An actor loves acting. That's why they do it. A comedian loves watching their own burst out of laughter. That's why they do it. So knowing how to do what it is you love is important, but it is also as important as understanding how the business that you love works. Because the truth of the matter is, mastering one's own skill or craft in their specific career choice can only get you so far. Because once that contract hits the table, what then? How about meeting with other managers, agents, and makers and shakers in the business? What then? Take control of your career by understanding the business side of your field of interest. Do this through research, research, research. And ask questions of people within your field of interest by getting involved and learning firsthand. Helpful tip! If you want to study successful people, look at their process from back when they were starting out. Their results are not how they did it. It's just the outcome of what it is they did through the process. And there are different levels to their successes. Because the truth is, once they became established, everything changed. In life, we have different processes for the following. So leading to success, or your first 365 days to success, is one method. Once you have become successful, then maintaining longevity is a whole other process. And while you are growing and maintaining your success, remember there is wealth growth that you have to focus on. All these things, the processes, and how they've elevated through the different levels can be seen in successful people's lives, especially with all the history we have on Google and any other search engine, plus autobiographies and biographies. So search out and research the path to success in which these people generated longevity, maintained it, and grew wealth to be who and what they are today. Thank you for watching this video and these traveling adventures of resilient entertainment. Please like, comment, and share the video along with subscribing for future content. Have questions, let me know in the comments below. And when you share me, at Thomas J. Beleza so I can see it and thus share your content in return. And remember, don't work too hard, but be productive. And look around at the people surrounding you because you want to work together so you can grow together and thus rise together. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Uh, do you, punk? Uh, do, you, do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Oh dear.